Sick. 
statues and things of this nature. And he was just stood on the shelf with his little tongue sticking out. And he just jumped off the shelf to me and I thought, that's it. I need to find out how much he is. Because at this point, I think I had like $20 left. And that was to like get me food and maybe a drink on my last night. So... She said, one dollar. And I was like, sold. You've got yourself a deal. And so I gave her a dollar. And she gave me him. She gave me Pierre. Saint Pierre. Patron Saint. Patron Saint of Luxex. And the two of us have been together ever since. I don't know why, there's just something incredibly endearing and charming about him. He's got just like a very strange little derpy face, and as I said, I don't know what his outfit is meant to be. If you guys, and maybe I'm just missing the obvious, maybe it's just, it, it really is something obvious and I've not noticed, but it is kind of like a newsy from the 50s, or like a sort of reporter, or a cowboy or a sailor, or a blend of all three, you know, part-time sailor who also rides horses and reports on crime stories in the big city, I don't know, but yeah, this is my find from, from LA, and he, I believe he's hollow inside, in fact we can see that he is hollow inside because there is the previously mentioned hole in his leg. first bought him. This um, happened <laughs> because after I went to Koreatown, I went to Echo Lake, the Echo Park, and after I'd been there, I was on my way back to where I was staying. source for me when I'm away without Google Maps, I probably would never make it back in one piece. So I looked at Google Maps, me and St. Pierre, we had a look, and it said a uh, 90 minute walk, which is fine. I did a few of those in my time away, but I only had about 45-46% battery left, and for some reason my phone has, on occasions, decided to just call it quits at about 26%, 25%. So, any time that I get under 30, I get a little bit concerned that it's going to happen, and that we're going to have no phone, and no Google Maps to find my way back. So. part of my journey was, and how long it would probably take me, I decided to sort of jog, hoping to cut down on some of the time, and, you know, ensure my chances of getting back, <laughs> which is always helpful. So, I had bag in my rucksack and I was jogging down pretty much a big stretch of Sunset Boulevard which probably wasn't the best idea on hindsight because it was absolutely searing hot my legs were already tired from a morning's walking and yeah <laughs> but <laughs> jogging anyway down Sunset Boulevard, probably looking very out of place and 